All right, we've got uh, Peter Axford here, and we've got Peter. Fresh. <laughs> Tonight we watched the premiere of Steel Warriors. 24th of August, 2019, up in Denali, and uh, at the great, greatest pub in the planet. And uh, we had the the uh, the first little shot, the release of Yuri and Mark Burke's little little 15 minute shot of uh, the little little video promoting the the uh, the big 45th anniversary of Stone and the the big run for the Z1000 Club and Z900 Club, the whole bit. So yeah, we she's on tonight. And now we're also talking about February. Right, um, I've been uh, selected as a member of the Kawasaki Z Owners Club uh, to organise all the clubs to meet um, because they, they were the boys that featured in the movie. And uh, at this stage, we've got them all coming from every state, and um, it's looking really good. We've, we've got a, a great attendance um, promise so far, and a lot of tickets sold. So it's looking really good. We'll be travelling from Melbourne, our end, and Pheasant's Nest from the other end. There is a timetable and all the fuel stops listed um, on Facebook on the South of Heaven website. So anybody can hook up at any fuel stop or even as we're going past, you're most welcome to hook on to the end um, and then sort yourselves out when we get to the fuel stop uh, because all the round tanks will be leading as per the movie um, because when they done the run from Newcastle along there was 16 round tank Z900s uh, that led the parade behind the coffin so that is the aim of this round tanks directly behind the coffin because we'll have a bike hauling a coffin up there um, and then the veterans will follow that and then south of heaven etc etc so we're going to be call out for all the round tanks to join in absolutely we're part we're, of this procession we're pushing that yeah and not to uh, not to be too bothered if you don't that's okay harleys anything else you drive ride bring it along more the merrier vespers <laughs> yeah so. bring your vespa it, it doesn't matter what doesn't motorcycle matter. you posty bring, boy doesn't matter whatever two yeah. wheels Yep, you got two wheels because in the movie, following the, the 16 Kawasaki's, uh, there was Hell's Angels and a few other clubs in there. Um, and two of those members I personally know are coming. Um, so we're going to actually have some original riders in the movie. Uh, and they were on anything and everything that followed. So it, it doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter. As long as you're there, you've got two wheels, mate, you're in. And if you if you do want to wear the Grave Diggers patch, yes, we've been, we've been in touch with the clubs, and it's it's a movie, it's a cosplay event. They're not real colours, so there is no issue um, with wearing those colours on the day. When I stress on the day, um, it, because it's a cosplay event, so we are most welcome. We want people to wear denim. And you're most welcome to wear the Grave Diggers patch on the day. Hi guys, I'm going to introduce you to Pranger. Now, very important job he's got, and I'll hand him to you so you can hear what he has to say. Yeah, um, we uh, have volunteered um, several different groups of motorcycle people from the motorcycle community around the Wagga area to um, support the South of Heaven in the Dewey Hungerford Memorial Ride at Kulak on the uh, 8th of February 2020. Um, our job will be making sure that everybody has purchased their tickets. Um, it's been told to us definitely no ticket, no entry. Um, we'll be organising the campsites. Uh, also with the help of Peter Francia, we want to uh, take a huge one-off photo of all the Z900 motorcycles out the front of the Kulak pub, which will be a one-off event. Um, we are actually uh, a group of people called the Friends of Murray and Goldry, um, which there's a several different groups of people, but we're all going under the Friends of Murray and Goldry banner. We all have yellow vests on with the Friends of Murray and Goldry written on them, so we can be easily identified for any uh, problems with camping or anything like that. Um, the reason we're called the Friends of Murray and Goldry is because, uh, thanks to the South Heaven Motorcycle Club, 
our proportion of the funds raised will be going to the Murrungaldry Vietnam Veterans Retreat, which is just out of um, off the Hume Highway, just before Tarkata. Um, we've uh, already spoke to these people, um, and we're hoping to fully use the funds to put solar panels. Um, so the uh, older veterans don't have to worry about generators and petrol and all that sort of stuff for when they go and have their retreat. Um, so that is what we're all about. So uh, thanks to South Heaven for giving us the opportunity to do that. Um, and um, apart from that, um, we'll be just general gophers on the day. Now, you must make sure that you wear your wristbands, otherwise you will not be getting entry and there will be no tickets sold on site. So you've got to get in early. The tickets are selling very fast at the moment um, and you can't miss this event. Um, now I'll talk to Denise, who is um, the liaison for the veterans. Hello. Well, yeah, long association and riding with the fellas for a long time. And I know most of them and I order them around all the time and they love it. <laughs> Not true. Well, it is sort of. But she's an absolute <laughs> sweetheart. So say good day to her on the day. She'd love to meet everybody. Um, it's going to be a great event. Yeah. We do have some um, special areas for some of the older vets to get out of the heat because it will be February. So yeah, just anyway, on the day, have a chat or next time on a run, have a chat to me. All right, I'm going to introduce Berkey to you and one of the main things we've got to get really crystal clear to everybody is the, log the logistics and if we can say it right. Over to you. That's right Emma, so basically um, there's a, as uh, the boys have indicated there's a huge um, presence and um, or interest in this event. So um, there will be, the assembly spot is obviously Pheasant's Nest for the round of Sydney area um, and that's a 6am um, and uh, 7 a.m. departure and um, for those coming from Melbourne um, it'll be the Shell yeah. service station Donnybrook and um, same price uh, 6 a.m. and a 7 a.m. Um, departure. Um, for every hundred riders where our goal is to have a road captain um, and uh, we probably suspect that the, the uh, New South Wales riders will get to the Beehive before the Victorians um, and there will be entertainment and bands that will be playing um, as soon as they arrive. I'm Rob, this is Dave. We're going to be part of the road captaincy on the ride. We're going to be out there to help you out and to try and make sure everything's safe. We don't want anybody getting hurt on the ride you know and there's going to be people watching us because this is a very important day for raising funds for a lot of people and good the money's going to go to good places so just respect the road rules you know you want to get out there and have fun go for it but you stuff up you know like hanging monos beside the group we road captain will pull you up and we'll have a talking to you. And you probably won't be able to join back in. That's all we're saying, you know. We just want everyone to be safe. All right, now once we mentioned before, we're going to have live music. This is Jen, and he's got the important job of organising all this. Uh, yeah, thanks, Em. Um, this is Cool Act um, next year, February next year. And um, we've got two stages. We've got the Giants on one stage, on our stage, we've got Code 5, Dark Clouds, and my band, the Groove Dudes. Uh, and I'm doing the sound for all the bands, so we're going to go on first, do our thing, and then get off. Then I can mix all the other bands. And um, so it's going to be, be a large weekend, lots of people kicking in, doing stuff, lots of people doing things for nothing. And just to make it you know, a memorable weekend and hundreds of bikes. Beehive Hotel and Kulak obviously hosting uh, this session. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's gonna be really something and it's a tribute to, to Dewey Hungerford from the original Stone movie. And um, it's gonna probably show a lot of people who have probably never seen the movie you know what it's about and it'll it'll put it back on the map again you know back from 1970 or whenever it was 
It was the original Aussie bikey movie. Before anyone even thought about doing it, they did it. So, yeah, it's going to be big. So, thanks, Sam. No worries. So, just to recap that, we've got Steel Warriors coming out, and um, keep an eye on for Channel 42 um, for dates and times when that will be showing. It's a beautiful 15 minute movie that I'm sure everyone will enjoy to see. Um, February the 8th, you know your meeting grounds. Please be careful. Um, we need to make this a safe um, uh, journey that everyone gets there and has a great time. Beautiful, great music, great venue, beautiful bikes. Everyone and anyone get there. Make sure you get your tickets early. It's selling out really quick. Make sure your wristbands are on on the day and we'll, go, we'll be busting to see you all. Take care.